hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel i am Ridwan ibrahim and i welcome you to the eighth episode which is probably the last episode of the calculation of gable roof timber in the last episode we calculated the length of the diagonal strut in this episode we will be calculating the length of the pole line all right so a pole line is that particular member that connects all of the rafter together okay so you could be connecting it in any way you could be connecting it as a button or as a pole line whether it is as a button or as a pole line still the same um still the same thing okay it's just about the position but how to calculate it is not a problem in this case we are studying the the way the pole line is being connected is actually different from the conventional one because if you look at the pole line this is the pole line okay you see the pole line is connected like this and then you have this one connecting down like this okay so this is how the pole line is connected so at every junction the pole line meets the the rafter there is a connection which is you know here there's a connection here here there's a connection here there's a connection here there's a connection here there's a connection connection okay so this is how the pole line is arranged in this case okay but this is not the conventional one so we just go as if it is the conventional one and then we'll do our calculation all right you will calculate the pole line as if it is like this okay so we have it in the other direction so so if your pole line is like this how do we determine the how do we determine the length and the total number um here it looks simple of course here yeah, it is simple the length of one pole line is actually the same thing as the length of the wall plate which is still the same thing as the length of the building okay so we can say that the length of the pole line is actually 12 meter but that is just one pole line you can see that there are several pole lines here so another thing we need to determine is how many numbers of pole line do we have okay um let's try to draw our truss one more time we have a truss like this okay and then the wall plate is around the uh, the tie beam sorry is around here um the king post is like this and then the diagonal strut is like this okay however at the top let's use um let's use green however at the top you'll be seeing something like this which is uh, you know just this section drawing of our pole line okay i don't know if i should use square shape or a circular shape okay so that is the pole line all right so in order to know how many numbers we have here we just use the actual um the actual formula so let's say it is given by the architect that the spacing of the pole line is one meter okay now from your calculation what is the length of the rafter the length of the rafter is actually 4.1 meter so to now determine the number of the pole line that should be equivalent to 4.1 meter divided by the spacing of the pole line which is one meter and then you had one so 4.1 divided by one that is still the same thing as 4.1 4.1 plus one that is 5.1 which is just um five numbers okay that is five numbers of pole line so we can just continue with our calculation since we've known the length of one pole line to be 12 meter so we can just say 12 meter multiplied by how many numbers do we have in one face of the rafter that is five don't forget that we have in this side two okay so that is multiplied by two so 12 times 5 that is 60 60 times 2 that is 120 so all this will be equivalent to 120 meter if you divide this by 3.6 meter so that should give us 33 numbers okay so we need 33 numbers of timber to get our rafter okay so this is how you go about calculating that so if you like this course uh, make sure you give my video a like and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet kindly consider giving me a subscription thank you for watching and thank you for always coming